Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our consultant in this segment is Mr. Benson Mwangi from Hammond and Tutu. Welcome to the show, Benson. Thank you, Anne. Today we're talking about key success factors for small and medium enterprises. Um, and I'm sure there are like a list of one to ten. <laughs> and maybe we can go right into them in terms of what is it that small and medium enterprises need in order to succeed. There are three fundamental uh, factors which contribute to success of our small business. The first one is focus, what you may call focus for the business. The second one is knowledge, knowledge of uh, all areas of the business that you are in. And the third is what you call the entrepreneur behavior. And possibly I could start by explaining each of these. Now, when you talk about focus, focus is very important. Focus is all about how well does the entrepreneur fall on a day-to-day -day basis on what the objective and the vision and the mission of the business is. And focus is really a function of uh, the passion from the entrepreneur. In small businesses, and for small and medium sized businesses, you can just call it that passion for the business. And uh, what objectives you lay down and how you put in strategies to pursue those objectives. You know, focus sounds really easy. Um, and yet, you know, you and I know, it, when you probably start a business, you know what you want. But then how do people begin to lose focus? 90% of people lose focus because what you started to do is not, you are not passionate about. And it happens in nearly 90% of the cases because a lot of people go for businesses which they were not passionate about, but which they thought are quick avenues to bring in income or profits or revenues. However, I think statistics show that uh, most of the successful businesses are successful because the entrepreneurs did not start them with a profit objective. Entrepreneurs are passionate about an idea and you drive into perfecting that idea and that ed product is a, a product that is distinct in the market. As opposed to I thinking and sitting back and thinking I want to start a business, what's the objective for this business is to, is to make profits. How do I make profits? Is I do anything that I think can bring profits. That's very different from someone who starts modeling pots uh, because you love it, you're passionate about it. Whether or not, or not that gives you a profit ahead of, of it is not what your initial objective was. In the earlier segment, I was speaking to Christine, um, who has a business, uh, Beautiful Ashes Pottery, and the passion in the girl was just oozes out of her. Is passion something that you can learn? Passion is more of an inner attribute than an, an, an ex imposed attribute. The next item is what you call knowledge. Knowledge about your business or knowledge about whatever activity you are carrying out. And most entrepreneurs start businesses which are significantly in a line that is not their passion and is not their learnt, you know, learnt vocation. A critical factor for success is ability to know that business, to know, to know all the aspects of the business. You can either know the aspects by having the passion for it so that you inherently develop that knowledge or you learn about it. If I'm an entrepreneur and I actually have, don't have any idea, <laughs> that much idea about the technical knowledge of my product, but I'm a great businessman. I know my, I know my bottom line, I know how to handle people, I know all those sort of things. Will I succeed more than the person who actually knows how their product in and out and doesn't really have... You could, but um, I, the most important thing to know is that whether the core knowledge for the core product is coming from you the entrepreneur or is being outsourced that core knowledge without it the business can't succeed so as an entrepreneur if you are going to invest in an area where you do not have the core knowledge then you must be very ready to invest in that core knowledge have people with that technical skill because without the product then you also need not have the support services allow the product because you have no product to sell so you could be a very good businessman know how to manage finances know how to manage the human resource and all that but you still and you could succeed only if you bring in very strong core capability. People who really understand the core, the core product and can develop it. So focus is key, and that's number one. And passion is a key ingredient in focus. Knowledge, and then knowledge not just of um, the product, but knowledge of the system 
the management system that does the business. What's number three? Number three is uh, what we call behavior. And this is entrepreneur behavior. It's very important that an entrepreneur makes decisions continuously and these decisions have to be executed. And whether the decisions that are being made and how they are being executed is in line with the passion or with the focus or with the objective is is very important that how you make the decisions and how they are ex executed is in line with the vision or with your passion. And that sort of consolidates the whole idea about focus. It's a question of how do you spread your day as the entrepreneur? Because you have your, your activity, the business or whatever activity you have on the side, but how you spend your day on, a day to, on an hour to hour basis and what's your thought process and how does that thought process go back to support the focus or the basic business objective. The other perspective is how do you allocate the resources that come your way towards achieving the objectives because a lot of small businesses fail because the resources are not allocated to achieve your passion or to achieve your objective. Uh, you could have a bank facility which you go to the bank today and the, the bank gives you a hundred thousand to come and support your production process. The moment the money gets into your pocket, you decide to buy a flat screen. How does an entrepreneur actually, you know, how does it get into their head that their behavior actually affects not just the bottom line, but reaching the vision? The most basic way is any business you are, you are learning, however small it is, you must try to document as much as possible your thoughts. Uh, possibly you could say you come up with a business plan. For smaller businesses, for a small business, always come up with at least some budget. It's very important that regardless of the size of business, you have a way of reviewing your performance. It could be on a monthly basis or on a, you know, on, on a weekly basis, depending on how intensive your activities are. Whether you are doing the right thing and whether what you are what your daily behavior is achieving the objectives will be de determined by when you do an analysis of this is what I intended to achieve within month one. At the end of that month, look at what's, what are the actual results. So the whole aspect about budgeting for a business, regardless of its size, is very, very fundamental. It's the biggest control that an entrepreneur has over the business they're running. Benson, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us. Thank you, Anne. You've been watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a great week, a focused week. God bless. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.